Next up on Boring Gear Reviews, we have the Karen X from Eddie Rifkind Effects. <laughs> Big thanks to Eddie for sending me the Karen X. So the Karen X is a fuzz pedal with its roots in the old one knob tone bender fuzz. Except here we get a super small enclosure, four knobs, and a switchable tone stack. So for controls we have volume manager which will control the overall output of the pedal while it's on. And then we have valued input which will control the input stage or like you can think of this as like your gain control. And then we have treble and bass. Down here we have our tone stack which is called in space you can't have that tone with me. Up will engage the tone circuit and down will take you out of it. For today's demo, I'm using my 1988 Bernie RSG 6360. All right, in this first clip, we're gonna max both the volume and the input, and we're gonna have the treble at noon and the bass at three. And that will, of course, mean we have the tone switch in the upward position. Okay, this tone, I don't know what I expected from this thing, but this tone is so thick and like warm while still being aggressive in the top end. You don't always say warm and aggressive together, but here it it's totally apt. I also found it to be very kind of tight, but at the same time it has, I know it's based off of a tone bender, but it, there was a very distinct characteristic in the low end fuzziness of it that felt almost like big muff to me, but way more defined. So the bulk of the clip, volume max, heart attack, and then I'm going to roll the volume back and pick lighter and you'll see how it cleans up. I really enjoyed the way this cleaned up because it stayed a bit, or rather it got a bit gated as I picked lighter with the volume rolled back. Really satisfying. Enjoy. <laughs> All right, in this next clip, we're going to start with the Maris Mercury 7 for like a nice big hall type of reverb. And that'll be going into the Karen X. And here we're going to go for a pretty clean tone. So we're going to have the input around 8 o'clock, uh, the volume around 11, and we're going to put the tone switch down. So we're going to be bypassing the EQ. 
The sound really did it for me. It's gorgeous. There's a, a little bit of breakup, a little bit of crunchiness or gating. I don't know. There's some aspect of distortion that's still coming through, even though it's, it's pretty clean, that I just, I loved. When I want a clean tone, this is like kind of what I'm looking for. I want more attack as I dig in, and I want it to back off as I pick lighter, and I want it to feel very natural and organic, and this checks all those boxes for me. Some drives can handle being after reverb better than others, and the Karen X doesn't matter where you put it, anywhere in the chain, and it shines. All right, for this last clip, we're gonna stack the Karen X with the drive. So we're gonna start our chain with the Electronic Audio Experiments Longsword. If you'd like to see a full demo of the Longsword, click the link right here. So here we're going for a very low gain sound just to set the bass. And then we're gonna engage the Karen X. Here we're gonna have the input at three, the volume at two, the treble at two, and the bass all the way maxed out. Often with fuzzes, you're better off putting your boosts or other drives after the fuzz. But like I said, with the Karen X regarding reverbs, with other distortions, it seems to do great no matter where you put it. So in this case, I really loved kind of how saturated and searing it got with the boost before. So it gets hyper aggressive, like a, a, a little evil sounding. It's great, super, super heavy, very forward, very aggressive. About, uh, I don't know, halfway through or something, I'm gonna turn off the longsword and it'll just be the Karen X for the rest of the clip. So when I was talking about how dynamic it is, I think this does a decent job of showing that where it doesn't matter if I'm picking you know big open chords or alternating between low and high notes, if I'm playing quieter or louder, the Karen X, it just, it's right there with you all the time. It's just a great sound. I know that's not the most articulate way to describe what's going on here, but that's kind of what I can say is that it just sounds great. <laughs>
that's a wrap for the Eddie Rifkin Karen X. This thing is a no brainer. I mean, dead simple to use, tremendous tones, super small form factor, like crazy small. This is one I would put on my board and never worry about like, uh, am I gonna be able to get this or that tone? This will get you there. So not only does Eddie Rifkin make outstanding pedals that are priced extremely well, Click the link in the description below. You'll see how well they're priced. He's also a good person. He stands for good things and fights for good causes. That stuff matters to me. We don't all have to agree on the same things, but as long as we're all working toward making everybody's life better and everybody's life more fulfilling and safer and happier, then that's the goal. And Eddie Rifkin is, is someone who stands behind that too. He donates um, to good causes and he he's just, you know, he's one of the good ones. So if you dig the content, please consider hitting that subscribe, like, share, comment, all that stuff. I appreciate you. Or if you really dig it, consider becoming a member and support that way. We do a lot of fun stuff. We're going to do some uh, members-only live streams and some giveaways there and voting and stuff. It'll be awesome. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next video. Peace.